today we have with us law student and model Jessica Elte who is grappling with the loss of her boyfriend Ben Shimoni, a true real life hero. Ben tragically lost his life while trying to save others during the Nova Music Festival massacre on October 7. And Jessica, I'm really honored to have you with us today. Thank you so much for coming in these, I can imagine, incredibly hard times. And thank you for, you know, sharing Ben's story around the world. I really want to ask you and start asking you, where were you this morning? How did it all start for you? When did you really realize what's happening and how come you weren't there with him? I was in our house at Ashkelon. I was waiting for him to come back from the party. And usually we're doing everything together. And by everything, I mean everything. I have, I, I don't have a real answer why I stayed at home. I decided to keep Shabbat and to stay at home. And this never happened before that I'm staying at home to keep Shabbat and Ben is going to a party. It was weird to me at the moment. It was weird to him and it's weird until now. This is, I have no answers because we're doing everything of together. Course. I can't imagine. And what can you tell us about really the moment you understood what's happening there? You opening your TV, he's calling you. What can you tell us about really the last call with Ben on which you finally understood what's happening there? Well, we were on the phone the whole morning, um, and he told me a bit what's going on there. He told me they hear shootings. He told me there is a big mess, but he didn't tell me everything. He was gentle with me. He knew I would get a panic attack, and we had a few phone calls that morning, and our last phone call was in 10 and 12 minutes. When I heard that everything is okay, and he started the phone call with everything is okay. I took some friends, they're in my car, I'm trying to save some people, and I'm going to come back home soon. I'm on my way back. And very quickly, that phone call got into a horror movie because I heard Ben say, he said, what is that? Is that terrorist? Is that Arabs, many questions, and I stayed quiet on the phone because I couldn't understand anything from what happened there. Very quickly, I heard the girls in the car screaming, Ben, drive, save us, take us out of here. And I heard shooting, and I heard quiet. Wow. Jessica, and I understand Ben saved almost 10 people. He was already safe, right, near Beersheba. Going back a few times to save those people, did he understand what a bloodbath it was right there? Because it's important for the viewers to understand, the morning hours, no one really understood what's happening. I mean, the phone calls started getting on the news, but no one really knew exactly what's happening. Did he know where he's going back to? to? Ben knew. Ben knew where he's going back to, and he went few times back and again. He definitely knew, and more than that that he knew, the people that he saved said there were no cars in those times, just terrorists in that area. They thought when Ben came to save them, they thought Ben was a terrorist. He definitely knew, and he took the risk. This is Ben, you know, this is his personality, and I'll tell you more than that. I'm sure that Ben would have done that again if he would save them, if he, if he succeeded to save them on the third time, he would come back again to the fourth and to the fifth. This Incredible. is Ben. You know, and we're seeing your pictures on the screen right now running and saying that they thought he was a terrorist. It's crazy because he really <laughs> looks like an angel, you know, with the long hair and everything. And I see how hard it is for you. You're working as a model, I know, these days. Obviously, a beautiful girl, and you're doing an amazing job also commemorating him. What's still planned to do? I saw you did, like, a, an incredible thing with an address, right? I mean, to try and commemorate Ben. What are the future plans to, to continue doing so? Well, it was a hard decision to me to go back to my role, to the modeling, like, to fake it to the camera that everything is OK when it's far from being OK. Um, but I think that what Ben would have wanted to me, for me, 
And I'm trying to do it step by step. There's many plans that just need the power and the strength to do this. And Ben is with me in every little thing that I'm doing, every photo shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm so sure of that because seeing you again, you were such an amazing couple. Any message you have for the viewers, for the world about Ben in general to try and make them understand what really happened here? Well, first of all, I think Ben was the beautiful Israeli man, not only outside, also from inside. And this is the Israeli people. We're looking for good. We're looking for achdut, it's called in Hebrew. We want to be united. united and together. And I think that's what Ben wanted to show us and to teach us in that morning because who is doing such a crazy thing? Only a person that his heart is that big and that I hope that we could take Ben's story and from his story to learn and to be united from all of the world, Jewish people from all of the world and stand, to stand with Israel. What we're going through is uh, it's definitely, a horror movie. It is, and I definitely hope that we will all be worth what Ben did, this angel. Jessica, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Only strength to you.